my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Araceli again. I hope you guys are doing great. And with Christmas around the corner, I thought to myself, what a better idea than to set up my table and show my YouTube friends how I did it. So without a further ado, here goes. A very Christmas table decor, a glam style. I'm gonna start by cleaning my table with pledge. Then I'm just using a microfiber cloth. Once I was done cleaning my table, I got started on the exciting part of this video. For decorating the table, the first thing I'm using is this beautiful blue sequence table runner. And I'm showing you right here, it's so sparkly. It has a lighter side and a darker side, and I'm going to be using the darker side. Next, I'm going to be adding Christmas trees, and the first one's gonna be this gold one, then I'm adding this two blue and gold ones that we DIY'd in one of my videos. And lastly, I'm going to be adding this beautiful glittery gold Christmas tree. And I'm also adding two of them. After I place them down, I'm going to arrange them and place them exactly where I want them to go. Just making sure that they are in the right spot spot right in the middle of my table because just imagine when i'm done and if one's in la la land and the other one's in the other side of the world it's not gonna look pretty once i'm done placing them where i want them i'm going to be adding this snowed garland and i'm just going to be folding it in half just so i could know where the middle is and then i'm just going to be swirling it around the christmas trees and this is just half of that garland that they sell at walmart for $12.95 I decided to cut it in half because it was too long for my table. So here I'm just twisting and turning and playing with it till I get the desired look that I want or at least something that I like. I'm not a professional but I do enjoy actually no. I love decorating my house for every holiday, especially for Christmas. And to be able to share with you guys is a dream come true. Let's continue. I'm going to keep twisting and fluffing and turning until I get the desired look that I want. Then I'm going to start decorating the garland. And notice how I'm walking back and this is just to take a better look at how everything is coming together. Here I'm just showing you this really cute gold branches that I'm going to be adding to both of the ends of the garland. This is going to make the garland appear longer and is going to add that glam style that characterizes me and i had a third branch that i didn't know where to put so i just started going to town and started cutting the little leaves and started sticking them in the garland this is going to give my centerpiece a very glamorized look and it's definitely going to be a wow factor Next thing I added is this gold beaded chains that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just cut them in half and started placing them in the garland making sure that everything looked nice and cohesive. Next, I'm going to be adding this Christmas ornament because how can you have a Christmas centerpiece without Christmas ornaments? And I'm just placing them randomly wherever I think they will look nice. And don't forget to have fun while you're Christmas decorating. I love decorating and for me, this is my little happy place. I love to be able to create new scenarios every season and every holiday for my family to enjoy. Next, I'm going to be adding this white and gold reindeers to each end of my centerpiece. And underneath them, I'm going to be adding this beautiful sparkly silver little leaves. And this is going to give the illusion like they're standing on ice. I'm going to be adding two of these little branches and I'm 
literally just going to be tucking them in underneath the garland so that it could look like one piece all together. Then I'm just going to be adding the reindeer just on top of the little branches, making sure that they are standing straight. Then I got this really cool idea of why not add Rudolphs instead of just reindeers. So I got one of those red berries and I hot glued it to the nose of my reindeers. And voila, just like that, I had two Rudolphs. And lastly, I'm adding this fairy lights. I am such a huge fan of fairy lights. I just think that they bring a whole look together but they can be such a pain in the butt especially if they get tangled next i'm going to give you some ideas and how you can make beautiful napkin rings on a budget so the first one is if you have a christmas flower all you gotta do is snip the end and hot glue it to one of these dollar tree rings and there you have a beautiful napkin ring the next one is you can use a snowflake hot glued it to the napkin ring and there you have another idea you can also use the dollar tree berries but i recommend you to set them because they do shed a lot of glitter and you don't want that in your food you can also use stickers there are just so many ideas you can use this napkin rings with you just have to let your imagination run and you'll be surprised the creations that you come up with And here I'm showing you the idea that I decided to go with. I purchased this reindeers at Hobby Lobby and all I'm doing is removing the little tag and just hot gluing them to the napkin rings. I just love the way they look. These napkin rings are definitely a statement piece in my table decor. And here's another very simple DIY. Since I couldn't find any blue charger plates, I decided to create my own. And all I did was I spray painted some silver charger plates I already own. Then I decided to add this beaded chains that I got at the Dollar Tree. And all I did was I literally just added hot glue to the very edge of the plate. And then I just started adding the little gold beaded chain, making sure that it looked nice and round. This was extremely simple. It didn't even take me five minutes to finish all four charger plates. Now to set the table. I'm adding all four charger plates to my table and then I'm adding this white plate with a silver rim that I got at Hobby Lobby last year and then I'm adding this beautiful plates with gold Christmas trees design. These are also from Hobby Lobby. Lastly, I'm adding my reindeer napkin rings with this navy blue napkins. And here I'm showing you how I do it. It's just very simple. You just open your napkin, grab it from the very middle part of it, and just slide that middle part through the napkin ring. And voila, there you have a beautiful napkin to put on your plates. Now to add the rest. At this point, I'm absolutely loving how everything is coming out, but I got another idea. I thought the reindeers could use a little extra something, so I went ahead and cut off a piece of a white fluffy rug that I had, and I went ahead and glued it around the reindeer's neck. Then I decided to add a little bell to the side of the collar 
and this made it look so much more cutesy and here i realized that i forgot to put my placemats so i just started adding them to my table decor this beautiful gold glittery mats are from hobby lobby as well then it was time to bring my chairs back to finish with my table setup now i'm moving to the front of my table and i'm adding this silver light up trees to my wall sconces and i'm just placing them on top of my candles here i'm showing you this christmas wreath that i made and i'm just going to be hanging it right in the middle of my wall art On the left side, right next to my window, I have this beautiful glittery Christmas arrangement and I have it placed on top of one of my side tables. I just removed the top glass and placed a white fluffy rug on top of it. And then I'm placing this peace sign that I made and this is the final result. I absolutely love the way everything turned out. I think it looks very glam elegant and Christmassy absolutely the look I was going for I hope you guys like it as much as I did and I cannot wait for Christmas to have my family sitting here in this beautiful tablescape that I created just for them enjoying our tamalitos and celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior I really wish you a very Merry Christmas surrounded by your family and your loved ones. May your Christmas be filled with blessings, love, and happiness. And remember, calories don't count during the holiday season, so you enjoy your tamalitos or whatever it is that you're having for dinner on that very special day. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the notification bell to see when I'm uploading again. Bye till next one.